Hello guys, welcome back and uh, as I said I will be sharing some stuff that I have been working with on with you. Um, now one of the things that I am currently doing is I am uh, doing different versions um, of Bayverse figurines. Now one of the things that I want to try and aim at is the Knights of Iacon. Now Obviously, one of them um, I am currently building. He's probably going to be the smallest of the lot. And what we have here is uh, a... Let's just take this out a little bit and lift this up. So this guy here is going to be one called Night Steel. Now, a name was recommended to me by... Um, one of my friends in one of the Transformers groups and this guy as you can see is a very very heavily modified um, scorn using bits of slug um, bits of the Transformers animated Megatron and also um, added some chain mail onto here now this guy will transform. Now, as you can see, I've got a scorn head here, just here. And what we're doing with that is it's going to remain just there. Um, there's going to be another one just here, which folds out in the same way. If you notice, the ball joints where the original legs were, so this would have folded down originally um, is actually going to be um, the part for the wings now he is going to be a twin headed dragon um, and the transformation is uh, going to be very very simple so oh, let me just sort his foot out so there we go so, as you can see, I've used two of the side pauldrons um, for the feet, um, taken the horns from um, Slug's head and used those as like uh, just some added feature. The Slug, um, what were the feet, have now become the knees. The... Um, Arms, like I mentioned, uh, are from Transformers Animated. It's not quite finished, as you can see. I have been adding pieces on. Um, are a mixture of Transformers Animated Megatron and the uh, the head pieces and uh, arm pieces from Slug. Uh, I finished that arm the other day and connected it up today. So there we go. Just being very gentle with him just in case like there is still parts a little bit loose. Um, so there we go. And we've got the um, chain mail down the front. Just to add it a bit more definition when it is painted. Um, I am going to add a higher um, shoulder pauldron up here just to give it a bit more knight-esque um, appearance and the wings for the dragon are going to be attached to here. Um, the wings are already done and painted um, and as you can see from the back it is quite clearly slug. Um, the Megatron, Scorn, the Deluxe Scorn, all rolled into one. Um, he is going to be painted in the same way as my um, other knights, or my Dinobots, should I say. Now, the Dinobots were knights, realistically, when you saw them. So if I just put him here, and what I'll do is I'll just grab Snarl, who I've recently repainted. So this is my snarl. So that is 
they're going to go looking from this. Um, well, you can see here this mess um, over to looking like this. So this is my snarl. Um, even everyone knows that he was done in the green or the grey with the see-through green fins or the see-through white plastic fins. Um, personally, it was a terrible design, so I took it upon myself to make him a lot better. Oh, I just needed a drink. So there we go. Um, so that is one of the customs that I am currently doing. So this guy is going to be called Night Steel. Um, the names that I have come up for them, um, some of them obviously already exist. So I will be doing um, the other ones that we know and love today. So we've got, uh, just looking at my list of names. So the Dragonstorm uh, Knights of Iacon. So obviously we all know that there's Steelbane, Draconicus, Stormrain and Skulltron, But we never heard the other eight. Now I had to pick some names out of the air. Um, some Transformer names, some actually uh, made up. By myself because they didn't actually have names and what we've done is we've got um, obviously Thunder Clash who everybody knows um, or recognizes the name we've got Night Beat and then Night Steel which was recommended big shout out to um, a friend in the group Chris Reedy um, it was him who came up with that name. So the names that I've made up are Lightwing, Highwind, Skytorn, Atomus, and Dead Sight. Um, as well as Steelbane, Draconicus, Stormrain, Skulltron, um, that we already know of. And then I just picked Thunderclash and Nightbeat out of the air. Um, and then there's Night Steel, which is the guy who is standing in front of you right now. Um, so big shout out to him. Really appreciated that he came up with that name. Um, what I am going to do is I am not going to show you the transformation just yet. Um, it's just a brief showing of what I have been working on in terms of the Knights of Iacon. Um, the weapon for him is actually uh, finished. So this was made from a uh, a missile, a joining point for a, uh, I forgot what transformer it was from now, it was one of the movie based anyway, and everybody will recognize the axe from Optimus Prime. And so this is the uh, the axe that Night Steel is going to be wielding. Um, I love a good chopper. Uh, but yeah, um, really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, it was all dry brushed uh, using the Citadel paints that everybody knows me to use, have and use, and um, it came out really well. I was really impressed with it. So yeah, that is going to be the weapon. So as you can see, it's going to be quite a meaty weapon for him to wield. Um, I'll probably just have him stood like that with one arm underneath it or whatever. I mean, it's a shame that I couldn't get articulated fists um, and whatnot, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, this guy, when he's repainted, will look completely different. I have been working on the head. I'm not entirely sure whether I want to use the scorn head yet or whether I want to sculpt one of my own um, using some modeling styrene. So I'll see where we go from there. But yeah, that is my custom night steel. 
uh, one of the 12 Iacon Knights. Keep your heads up because I am going to be working on these and I'm going to be working on them solidly throughout the rest of the year. Um, this idea just kind of sprung into my mind and I thought it's better to get it together now while I can. And this is how he came out so far. I'm really pleased with him. Really quite a bulky character, which is what you'd expect the Knights to be. Um, it's just now a matter of um, whether I want to use a head from a previous Transformer or whether I want to make my own. But, yeah, um, just to get some recommendations from you guys, my watchers, um... As everybody knows, I mean, I've done all my Dinobots uh, from the movies. I'm currently repainting Grimlock at the moment. Um, we've got Strafe, who has been done in armour, but has a slight blue washing. Um, as you saw, Snarl was green and gold, um, slight washings. Scorn has got a red washing. Um, pretty much stuck to... The colours that they were released in. I've not done anything on Slug. Because Slug didn't really re um, reflect a colour in the movie. So I've not done anything on Slug. But they are all in Knight's armour. Now, one of the things I want to hear from you guys is... Should, how should I do the armour on this bot? I mean, I'm going to do it the same way. But how should I dry brush it? Should it have a colour wash? Should there be some slight colouring? Um, what depth? I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, that's what I want to hear. Moving forward with this project, it would be great to hear everybody's opinions on it. And hopefully, if I can get the adjustment right, these guys will combine into Dragon Storm. Not making any promises. I'm hoping that I can make it work. If not, then it's just going to be 12 knights I've customed, but can still transform. Um, but yeah, I'd like to hear your opinions of it. Let's see what feedback that we get. And everybody, thank you very much for watching yet again. This is Night Steel. This is TF Customizer. And uh, I'm out. Peace.